Welcome to Rockway, New Jersey. We've got a pondless waterfall. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today, we're gonna take a virtual tour of smaller pondless waterfalls. You might wanna add something next to your entranceway or even a smaller sitting space. These pondless streams and waterfalls are gonna be perfect for that. Let's get started. Why don't you leave it all behind and come back home? Make some sweets and tea Just like it used to be This was a special project. Now we were here uh, probably six or seven years ago and built an original pondless waterfall for Ira and his wife, Sharon. She unfortunately lost her battle to cancer and he called me up and said, listen, I wanna build a memorial garden for my wife. So we added a second pondless waterfall. Welcome to Butler, New Jersey. This is Sharon's waterfall. Uh, she was a really special lady. I really enjoyed the experience we had building the first pondless waterfall, which is this pondless waterfall right here. This is the original project we came in and created for Sharon and Ira. And then uh, once Ira called me back the second time, he had an existing pond that was here, which he had built himself, which was really cool. But he said, you know what? I want something really special to come out and sit here and remember Sharon by. So that put a lot, of, a lot of pressure on us. I came here with my sons, Anthony and Colby, and the three of us put this special waterfall together. If you wanna see how that happened, click the link right here. You can watch the whole two-part series on building this waterfall. This is our 14-foot Patio Falls Deluxe. Now, we added some things to this. We did large boulders. We actually had to build a retaining wall to raise this whole area up so we can have this waterfall spilling back towards the house. So that wall went in and then we started work on creating the actual pondless waterfall. Down here below me is a 250 gallon reservoir that was first installed. Then we went ahead and shaped out what was gonna be the footprint for the new water feature. He loves the fact that the animals can use the water feature to sustain life. I mean, he registered his yard as a certified wildlife habitat, loves wildlife nature and this was extremely important. Starting up top at the headwaters of the waterfall with our spillway, we buried it down about six inches. We wanted to have water kind of bubbling up and welling up like it was coming from a spring, starting the waterfall. The last thing you want to do if you're building your own water feature is just have a pipe sticking out, shooting water to start the waterfall. It will ruin the rest of the water feature because it completely takes away from it. So how you started is everything. Then we came down and created these pooling areas, some rapids falling off into this big pool here. This is about like four or five inches of water in here. Great place for frogs, for birds, for dragonflies, all those creatures you want to invite to the backyard. And of course, tucking it up against his patio space, he obviously uses his fire pit quite a bit. He's got a nice seating area here. This is his enjoyment spot. From there, we did something interesting, leaving the stream, falling off with these two rocks facing each other. I would almost equate this waterfall to Iron Sharon's relationship. This is those two facing each other, showing love before it spills down into the reservoir. I love water features. I also love what they mean to people. This was a great story. I love the fact that he actually really appreciates this. I want you guys to appreciate this and understand that this is what our passion is. And I'm so happy when we could find somebody else that aligns with what we do. Let's say you have an established garden, you want to just add a nice accent 
this is that perfect solution. This is one of our front door falls, pondless waterfalls. This has an aqua basin 45 buried in the landscape, which is our reservoir, holding about 100 gallons of water. That's feeding this six foot long pond the stream and waterfall. This is an established garden. We've got beautiful landscaping everywhere. This is actually the entrance to the rest of their garden here. That's what greets you as you walk in. We're approximately 60 feet away from the house, but as soon as you enter those garden gates, you're going to hear that tranquil sound of water as you enter the backyard. This waterfall and stream is running an AquaSurge 2000 gallon hour pump. It's giving us that nice babbling brook sound. Our widest waterfall is about 12 inches. And as you work your way up to where it starts, we actually pinch down to maybe six inches wide up there. And then where it starts at the top, the spillway is completely hidden beneath all these mossy rocks. This looks like it's been here for eons, just flowing out from the natural landscape. Now this wasn't a hillside, we actually had to berm up soil. So from where the waterfall starts at the top, it berms out probably about eight feet to the right and about six feet to the left giving us that slow grading topography, leading away, avoiding that volcano style waterfall. And then bringing that rock work out to the landscape is crucial to complete the look. This particular pond, this waterfall is a little bit larger than our standard front door falls. It's about six feet long with just over 18 inches of elevation. You can see how great that looks. You don't need to have super high waterfalls to get a few drops out of it and make it look like it's been there forever. I'm excited to see this one. Yeah, me too. Now you guys, you guys built this, uh, you guys created this what, like three or four months ago? A couple months ago, yeah. We were yeah. here this year, we built it. Uh, there was nothing here to start with and we had a nice blank slate. Well, let's go check it out. What is this? The, this is the backyard, right? Well, that back, the front, I guess it kind of depends how you look at it. Wow. <laughs> you did an awesome job. I love how you built it up against the back of this wall here. And what's so cool is you didn't have like some volcano starting it. Right. Yeah, we had a nice back wall to build into instead of like a, just kind of ramping it up in the back and then doing like a retaining wall. So it's nice. It makes it look a little bit more like it fits the area. I love how it's laid out, like very long with those big pooling areas. My favorite part, just looking at it initially, is probably the way you guys started this waterfall. You buried a spillway down and made it like well up through the ground, right? That's such a good look. I love that where it's not like shooting water out of a pipe. Mm -hmm. That's a great job right there. I love that. And that water is like probably at least two or three inches thick in there, huh? Yeah, right? It's nice. We had some bigger rocks in here too, some stuff we used the machine for. We didn't really get too many big, big ones, but I think there's like just a good, there's a good mix of big and small rocks in here that kind of make it look a little bit more pronounced than when we use a lot of the smaller rocks, especially in like those tight spots, or like those tight space backyards. And your rock works pretty good. It's not moving around, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is our patio falls, right? Yes. So this is eight feet long from where the waterfall starts down to where it goes into the reservoir. You got a reservoir below here. What size pump is it? It's a 3000 AquaSearch pump that we have in here. It's got a two inch check valve and then we ran two inch plumbing all the way up to the top. So that's giving us plenty of, plenty of water up there. I mean, you know, I really like this waterfall because it's not like super loud. It's not like make like really shooting the water over the rocks. It's kind of hugging them and it's, it's nice, it's subtle. There's not a ton of white water really going through here. It's like, it's perfect for birds to kind of come through and just kind of sit in there. They'll do their bird bath and you know, it's interactive. pump ball it's actually right in the gravel there where your foot is so oh, it's yeah. nice it's covered it's a nice spot for our pump to be that's where everything is that's all your maintenance anyway for this uh, really the opening and the closing but 
I say it all the time, I really love the Creeping Jenny. I love the way it takes over and the way it just starts to really, like you said, soften up everything and the way it encroaches over and fills like all the cracks in between all the rocks and it just kind of finds its home. Yeah, and you could start with a, with a much smaller plant and it grows into that in no time. Like that, you could see where the plant was originated from. Yeah. And it's spread out like, you know, 18 inches that way, 18 inches this way. Fills in great. And then using the other plants around it, those junipers, as they start to grow and the hostas are going to give it a lot of different heights and textures. This is really a great spot. And I love that it's right next to the walkway. So they park their cars here and they walk down and they're walking right next to the waterfall. And they've got this great patio over here. Kitchen window's right there. So as they're at the sink doing dishes, you look out across the patio and you see that beautiful cascading waterfall with those streams. And I'm thinking you could probably fit in that chair. <laughs> I, I probably could fit in it, whether the, I, I might exceed the weight restriction. My guess is the, the person that drives that vehicle sits in that chair. <laughs> I, that's a pretty good guess. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of my whole team. Of course, my son's being part of that. Being able to create something like this, this is indicative of something I would build. So, great job. Nice work. Tell me what you guys think. All right. Tell us what you think of this beautiful patio. I'm kind of skewing it right now. <laughs> this beautiful patio falls. This is an eight foot long. It's got underwater lighting. It's got aquatic planting. So if you go on our website and you look at, at our project planner, you could look at the patio falls and see what it would be like to build one in your own yard if you're in northern New Jersey. Welcome to Pompton Plains, New Jersey. This is a fantastic example of a perfect residential backyard. All the landscape and hardscape spaces were created by CLC Landscaping. These guys did a phenomenal job. They asked us to come in and create this water feature, which is now the centerpiece of the backyard. Off the back of the house, we've got windows from the kitchen looking out into the space. Obviously, all the seating is directed to this area and we've got that beautiful sound of cascading water permeating through here. I can imagine in the summertime, the windows are open, you'll hear that in the family room. This is our 14 foot Patio Falls Deluxe Pondless Waterfall. From where it starts to where it finishes is about 14 feet long. We've got two feet of elevation from right there where that waterfall ends up to where it starts. And in that two feet of elevation, we've got multiple cascading waterfalls. Now our team came in and they created this berm to actually have the waterfall start. We wanted to have things facing the house. In order to do that, you've got to create a pretty large berm so you don't end up with a volcano on the backside. And then of course, CLC came in afterwards and they planted this up. This is only a couple months old. Can you imagine what this will look like in two, three years? Just incredible. I love what the guys did with the way they started the waterfall, how it's welling up out of there. That water is super thick coming out of there before it disperses into all these different waterfalls, splitting around rocks, using the rock face to slide down into the next pool. Just in this space, they were able to create three separate waterfalls. We've got one that comes around the right side here, turning almost 90 degrees back into the pool. This one's splitting into two separate waterfalls before going into here. Love what they did with this bottom rock where they used the natural depression of the rock to create some turbulence, kind of a back spinning eddy right there before it goes into the reservoir and then sneak in a little guy around the side here even leaving enough room for a little pooling area which holds water. That's great for wildlife. When you install any type of water feature, you're going to invite wildlife into the backyard, which I personally love. In this day and age with so much development, giving them a place to have a water source for bathing and for drinking is so crucially important. This is a great example of using a small backyard space and really maximizing its potential. Love what these guys did here. Tell me what you think. <laughs>